Amid controversy surrounding the apparent conflict of interest involving Water and Sewage Executive Chairman Adrian Gibson, WSC's management union is calling on him to do the honorable thing. Union President Montgomery Miller says he also supports calls for a full investigation. We call upon the executive chairman and the general manager to do the honorable thing in the interest of the Water and Sewage Corporation, the Bahamian people, its employees and its vendors. Gibson came under fire after it was revealed that a company whose director has the same name as the woman Gibson identified as his fiance was awarded hundreds of thousands of dollars in contracts by the corporation. Days after that revelation, Gibson has failed to say whether the company's director was indeed his fiance. His silence on the matter has left many calling for answers and for an investigation into the granting of WSE contracts. Miller says it's time for there to be some accountability at the top of the corporation. We have no difficulty with a full investigation of the activities of the corporation. None whatsoever. We would support that. In a statement on Sunday, the corporation's general manager, Elwood Donaldson, said the contracts went to tender and received multiple bids. He said the lowest or the best bidders were selected. Turning to a separate matter, Miller told members of the press that since last year, the union has been calling for some sort of investigation into financial matters at the corporation and even documents going missing. We are aware the documents were removed from one of our facilities uh, some time ago. Um, we are concerned about the storage of those files because our understanding is that they're very sensitive and very important files that needed to be kept. At the time, they were stored in air-conditioned um, facilities and now uh, it is possible that they're stored in unsecure, unsuitable um, circumstances and we're not clear why the files were moved in the first place because they were safely and securely kept. Then there's the treatment of employees. Miller says despite writing everyone from the Minister of Works to the Prime Minister, there has been no resolution. Miller says at the end of the day, the union just wants what's best for the corporation. We reached out to the executive chairman for comment. However, our calls were not immediately returned. For the Guardian News Network, I'm Kyle Joaquin.